there has been a critical error on this website. This is one of the scariest error that we get while we work with our website. So if we try to open our website on a new window, it again says there has been a critical error. And even if I try to go to our WordPress admin area, it doesn't allow us to get into our WordPress dashboard also. So if you are getting a similar error on your website, you need not worry too much as in this video, we will look at the reasons behind this critical error and importantly, we will resolve this issue and get our website up and running again. So let us start. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillville.com and on this channel, I teach about WordPress and WordPress website without coding. So in this video, we are looking at an error that we get few times. There has been a critical error on this website. Please check your site admin email inbox for instructions. And if I now go and check my emails, it has an email with a subject line, your site is experiencing a technical issue. So usually this email is sent out immediately to the admin email address. But if you do not receive it, we will also see the steps how we can overcome this error. So if you have received this email, you can read out the details about the issue that has caused the critical error on your website. So in this case, WordPress caught an error with one of your plugins, Elementor Pro. First visit your website and check for any visible issues. Next visit the page where the error was caught and check for any visible issues. If your site appears broken and you cannot access your dashboard normally, WordPress now has a special recovery mode. This lets you safely log into your dashboard and investigate further. So if you are lucky enough that you have got this email, you can click on this link and it will take you to the login for your WordPress. So I will just log into my dashboard. And as it said, it is a recovery mode that has been enabled on our WordPress. So now I will go to either the plugins or the appearance theme section and check out what has gone wrong on my website. So if I go to the plugins, because I was working with the plugins before this error happened, it shows me that the Elementor Pro plugin failed to load properly and is paused during recovery mode. So this is the reason probably why my website broke and it gave me the critical error. So what I can do here is I can deactivate this plugin. And if I now click exit recovery mode and again visit my website, my website is opening as normal. So this is the first way how we can overcome the critical error on our website. So here also, if I refresh this page, I will be able to get into the WordPress dashboard as normal. So this was the first way to overcome the critical error on our website. But if you are not fortunate enough to get this email and understand what exactly has gone wrong on your website, we need to take help of the C panel. So let us now see how we can check the same error through the C panel. So here again, I see the error is still existing and we'll be taking help of the C panel. So this is our C panel. And on the C panel, you need to scroll down and find the file manager. So once you click on the file manager, you will see the public HTML folder. 
and if you click on the public html folder you will see different folders for the content under the public html so you can go to the search bar and type wp dash config and you will see different folders and here i just need to click on the wp config so i will right click on it and say edit so it will enable the editing for this file and if i now scroll down i will see something as the abs path and above this we can see some code define wp debug which is at the moment set as false so if you do not see these code lines on this folder you can just copy and paste it here i will give this code in the description of this video so since this is set to false the debug mode is disabled at the moment so what we need to do is just type in true here and save this file so now if i go to our website and try to refresh the page it will give us the details for the error which has caused the critical error on our website so on this page you will see something which has been highlighted in bold and it gives you the path to resolve the issue so it mentions the domain name and after that we need to see the public html folder and in that wp content and under the plugins section there is an error on this plugin elementor pro and in this if you know about coding a bit you can find out the modules and the exact file and the line of the code which is causing this error if you are not comfortable doing all this you can simply go to the public html folder and in that you need to find out the wp content and the plugins and just disable this plugin so i will show you how you can disable this plugin from the c panel so we just need to go to the c panel and here i will again go to file manager and under the file manager i will click on the public html and now if you see after public html we need to check the wp contents and then plugins so here i will try to find out wp contents and if i click on that i will see the plugins folder so in the plugins folder if i click i will see all the plugins on our website so here is the folder which is for Elementor Pro and if I right click on it I get an option to rename this plugin so here I can just type in any symbol or anything after the plugin name and if I just type a star or any symbol here and if I rename it now this plugin is now disabled on our WordPress website so if I now go to our website and refresh this page, I immediately see that we are able to access our dashboard. And here you will see that Elementor Pro has now been disabled. So if you have a good knowledge about coding, you can also go to this path and try to fix this error on the line 33 of the AJAX handler PHP file. So this is how we can overcome the critical error on our website and get back the access for our dashboard as well as the website. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.